Are you thinking about moving to Madison, Wisconsin? Chances are you've been checking out some of the suburbs, and today we're going to talk about one of them. It's called Stoughton. And we're going to talk about what jobs are there, what the schools are like, what kind of things there are to do, and what the property values are. So stick around. Hey guys, I'm Shane Feist with Beyond the Door Realty, and I get to help people every single day buy and sell homes in this great area I get to call home. And my information is coming up on the screen right now, so write down my phone number and email and reach out to me. I'd love to talk to you guys. And remember to subscribe to the channel so you can check out all the videos we've already done and get notified of any new ones we do. So first of all, let's talk about where in the world is Stoughton? Okay, so you can see on the map here, Stoughton is highlighted with a red uh, line around it. And it is about a 25 to 30 minute drive to the capital from Stoughton. Stoughton also has about 13,000 people in it. And the average home values in Stoughton are about $265,000 versus $328,000 in Madison. Okay, so I always start at greatschools.org to check out schools just so we have some sort of the same platform when we're comparing schools to other schools. Let's start first of all on elementary schools. You can see there's three elementary schools in Stoughton. First one's Sand Hill Elementary, next one's Fox Prairie, and then Kiganza. And they're rated 6 out of 10, 5 out of 10, and 4 out of 10. There's one middle school in Stoughton, that's called River Bluff, and that gets actually a 4 out of 10. There's also only one high school in Stoughton, obviously called Stoughton High School, um, which gets a 6 out of 10. You can see there's about almost a thousand students. And remember, if schools are important to you, you're always going to want to check out the schools in person and really take a tour so you can see more of what it really feels like there. This is just a nice way to at least get a snapshot into it. So Stoughton Hospital is one of the bigger employers in the area. Stoughton Trailers is another one that's very a very large employer for it. And what they do is they make semi-trailers. Cummins is a company that makes diesel engines and they also make generators and a bunch of other different things, but they're really known for their diesel engines. So a site that you guys should really check out if you are interested in Stoughton is called visitstoughton.com. They have a fantastic website. Most of the stuff you're going to see here that I'm going to talk about is actually from their website because it's just a, I thought they did a really good job. And you can see here, this is actually a picture of downtown Stoughton and it's just got that old town feel. It's really a cool area. So Stoughton has a lot of Norwegian history and you can see here they had the Setna Mai Festival. One of the other things that Stoughton has is a, a gazebo music series where pretty much every month they have a different musician come and for free you can come and listen to them. They have this art walk through Stoughton, which is kind of just a neat thing that you go through downtown area and you can check out different artwork and listen to music, live music in the streets. Stoughton also has a farmer's market, 8.30 to noon on Saturdays during the warmer months. Besides a ton of stuff to do in Stoughton, there's also all these little shops that are pretty neat and unique. Diakonos is a shop downtown Stoughton, which does jewelry and art making, all while giving glory to God. Another local shop is called the Grasshopper Goods. And this one's kind of unique because this one has um, clothing, accessories, that kind of stuff in their store. But on top of that, they actually have a truck and they'll actually come out to you, which is just kind of a neat thing. So you should check them out sometime. Spry Whimsy is what they call a fiber art store. So Spry Whimsy is a, what they call a fiber art store. And they do a lot of stuff with the yarns and weaving. They actually have classes and stuff here. So it's kind of another cool place to check out with just some local flair. And one more downtown shop that I'm just going to highlight here is called All Through the House. Here they sell actually cookware, gourmet food, wine, gifts, all sorts of different things. And again, another cool thing is they have some cooking classes here so you can take classes sometime. So let's talk about a few of the restaurants in town. There's no shortage of places to eat here. Um, one of the places that I go to quite a bit, I just like the feel of it, is it's called the Sunrise Family Restaurant. It just reminds me of back when I used to go to breakfast with my grandpa a lot. Um, it's a good breakfast place and they actually serve food up till 7 p.m. But I've never stopped there except for breakfast. Fosdal Bakery. If you got a sweet tooth like me, you want to check this place out. Viking Brew Pub is a local brewery that is a bar restaurant. Kind of a cool place to check out. They're paying respects to their whole Norwegian heritage. El Rio Grande is a good little Mexican restaurant right downtown. And Morales Family Restaurant is another neat little uh, cafe, diner, featuring, you know, American foods and uh, Mexican foods. So it's kind of a cool little mix between the American meats, Mexican foods. So hopefully that gives you a little bit better understanding of where Stoughton is, what it's like there. And if I can help in any way, please reach out to me. My information is popping up on the screen right now. Whether it's a phone call, text, or email, I love hearing from you guys and love being able to help you out. Remember to subscribe to this channel too so you can check out all the videos we've already done and so that you get notified of any new ones that we're putting out. I'll talk to you later, guys. Thank you.